words. They don't just communicate thoughts. They reveal the hidden things in our hearts. They don't just communicate ideas. They create worlds. The mouth and the words we say are a creative force that is not only used all the time, but everywhere we go. Our words are the very essence of how the Creator made us. Join us as we discover the essence of man and the power of speech. Hello, welcome to the Essence of Man and Power of Speech. We are on day 127 and we're going to talk about sowing and reaping folly. Um, let me start out by saying this. So I'm going to go to some Hebraic concepts here. Uh, the sages teach that if you take that which is not yours, you... Uh, your own will be taken. So when a person uh, steals or takes something from them or from someone, even what they have will be taken. Um, dishonesty will earn a person uh, one cent more than what has been decreed for him. On Rosh Hashanah, meaning <clears throat> um, a dishonest person will not gain any more. Actually, he loses less when the new year, according to Jewish tradition, Rosh Hashanah is the new year, and, and God depend depend on what's done this year to determine what happens next year. Uh, dishonesty will not earn a person one cent more. In other words, he thinks he's gaining by stealing something, but actually he's losing something in the coming year. And this is why the sages teach that if, if you take that which is not yours, your own will be taken. Uh, Jesus, Jesus makes, uh, makes note of this in the parable of the sower, or not the sower, the talents. When, when, when Jesus tells a story about how he, uh, the, the, they give talents to one he gave five, to one he gave uh, uh, or yeah, ten and five, and then one, and then the one produced more, and, and the other one produced five more, and then the one that produced or had one didn't do anything. And what he was actually doing was he stole. By doing nothing, he was being dishonest. And Jesus went on to say later, that which people have will be taken from them, because dishonesty does that. Well, in the same thing. To, to lie and to gossip is to be dishonest. And, when, and so with evil speech, when we speak evil of others, our own is taken from us. Now and in the world to come, meaning uh, evil will be spoken of us. We've, we've learned over these courses of teachings that when a person speaks evil of someone, it, it allows the accuser of their brethren to speak evil against not only them, but us. And this robs us of our blessing in the world to come, if not repented from. And so when we see this, just like stealing something from somebody or doing something dishonesty for selfish gain causes that to happen to your own. So evil speech is the same way. There's really no difference between evil speech and theft and robbery and stealing money because we're stealing something from somebody when we speak evil. We're stealing their integrity. We're stealing their opportunity of forgiveness. We're stealing their opportunity to, to um, to be accepted or to, to, to not be judged or false accusations. When we present false accusations, then others will have false accusations. So speaking evil is like being dishonest. 
uh, because it paints a picture of something or someone. And we may not have the full story. We may not understand the whole whole concept. Number one, number two, we're not God. We don't know the heart and the whole matter of the situation. Number three, it's just wrong. And so the, the, the goal is not to be dishonest, not only in, in how we handle other people's property, but also how we handle other people's lives through speaking um, evil speech, that we don't speak evil speech, that we don't speak Lashon Har, that we, that we speak Shimrash HaLashon, good speech, speech that is worthy of and holy and acceptable according to the commands of God and the scriptures and so on and so forth. And so this, this, is, this, is, this is an interesting take because dishonesty, uh, the folly of it is a sowing and reaping concept, not only when we take, again, tangible things, but when we take life in word. And uh, yeah, that's, that's a pretty sobering thought that every time we speak evil, it's dishonest. So. Yeah, make that a goal today. Don't be dishonest in your speech or in anything for that matter. Amen. Hey, we'll see you next time on The Essence of Man, The Power of Speech. Have a good one.